Ready to play in Linux? We've installed Mepis on this old Pentium 3 here, which is by no means a speed burner as far as computers is concerned. Let me tell you about this computer. It's running at about 800 megahertz, has a 10 gigabyte hard drive and 256 megabytes of RAM. Now, I would have preferred a little more RAM, but then again, I always want more RAM. But Linux runs just fine in this setup. Now, as far as hard drive space is concerned, 10 gigabytes, again, a little bit light, but the operating system and applications take up very little space. But if you're going to do a lot of digital photography, music, or video, then you're going to probably end up adding a larger hard drive to your Linux box. But you could do that at any point. So, ready to begin living life in Linux? A life without Windows? Well, never fear. Tis a journey many have taken before us. So let's look first at internet life, mainly because that's all we have time for today. In our next show, we're going to show you the office productivity world, the applications in that area, photo editing, hooking up peripherals to complete the whole Linux picture. But the internet is what we're going to look at right now, and the internet is a great equalizer in the world of operating systems. Now, in a perfect world, your ability to use the internet should be the exact same if you're in Windows, the Mac, or in Linux. Now, the world's never perfect, is it? It's actually pretty close here. Mepis installed an open source version of Firefox in our installation, so we are ready to rock. Now, I have shown you Firefox before in Windows, and it's identical in Linux. It's my favorite web browser. I like how fast it is. I like how secure it is. I like the way it works. If you only use Internet Explorer, it's very similar to Internet Explorer with a few refinements. Now, when we open it up, to go to a website, we just type it into the address bar. So let's go to Google to get things going. And there it is, up and running. So you're going to notice all of the commands are in pretty much the same place and are going to run the exact same as they would in the Mac or the Windows environment, from sorting your bookmarks and managing them on through. Now, the other shortcuts that we find in Windows are also available. For example, this is a tabbed web browser, meaning I can open different websites in different tabs. And in Windows, I just hit Control-T to do that. I can open a new tab, Control-T, same shortcut works here. So now if I want to go to eBay to buy and sell a little bit, there I am being brought into eBay. So as far as web browsing goes, this works the exact same to downloading different extensions for uh, multimedia within your websites, all of that stuff works the exact same within Firefox and Linux as it does Firefox and Windows or even Firefox on the Mac in that case. So as far as web browsing goes, we are ready to go. Next after web browsing, email. So for email, let us turn to another Mozilla product which also installs with the basic install here from Mepis and that is Thunderbird Mail. Thunderbird Mail is a nice fully featured email client which in the Windows world competes head-to-head -head with Microsoft's Outlook Express. A lot of people prefer Thunderbird Mail to Outlook Express. I think Thunderbird is an excellent email client. Does everything you need in a pop email client. Storing all of your names and addresses, sorting your mail, allowing you to add signatures and handle multiple accounts. And there's the additional benefit working in Linux of not being as exposed to as many viruses as we are in the world of Windows. Most of the viruses, most of the adware, most of the spyware is all focused on the Windows world and Linux inherently is a more secure operating system and since there's less viruses designed to attack Linux you're much safer and more secure when you're living in Linux as well which is an additional benefit giving us a little more peace of mind when we're online. Now the last part of the internet equation is chat and I have to admit chat surprised me a little bit. Now when I chat online mainly I chat with my kids and my kids all use MSN Microsoft's Instant Messenger. Now, I'm pretty sure that Microsoft hasn't written an MSN client for Linux, so I wasn't sure I'd be able to chat with my kids if I was in Linux. Well, somebody else has written a chat client that works on MSN Network for us to use, and it installs when we installed Mepis, and we go into the Instant Messaging area here, and just choose something called the Game Internet Messenger, and this works just fine within the MSN network. So I just signed on with my screen name from MSN, put in my password, and lo and behold, there's my buddy list. I can sit here. Oh, there's my son online. Let's have a quick chat with Luke, make sure he's doing his homework. And he's sitting at home on MSN. He can't tell that I'm in Linux. He's just working with an instant messenger himself. And he should be writing me back and saying, hey, Dad, how are you the best dad in the whole world? Well, he didn't say that, but I'm sure he's thinking it. You're starting to see the appeal, aren't you? We've got 
a fully functioning computer set up as far as the internet goes. We have web browsing, we have email, we have instant messaging all set up. So as far as the internet is concerned, Linux is an equal opportunity operating system and it only gets better from here.